Hi, I'm Olivia and this is Barnaby. <laughs> I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes uh, 10 years ago to this year in October 2010. When I uh, first got pregnant, so this is a previous pregnancy to Barnaby, unfortunately it wasn't viable, um, but I had an HbA1c that was um, higher than it should have been for pregnancy and I wasn't using Dexcom. I was on tour at the time actually and I was having to test my blood sugar every maybe half an hour to an hour. It was a ridiculous amount of finger sticks to be doing. Just doing finger sticks, it's almost impossible to achieve that without doing it literally all of the time. And then around week seven, that was when the hypos hit and that, yeah, that was insane. So I was in my first trimester and so I was around week eight when I found out that the pregnancy wasn't viable and unfortunately, yeah, the heart stopped beating. That was, uh, I would have been pregnant September 2018, had a miscarriage in 2000, October 2018. And then January that I'm for pregnant with Barnaby, yeah. I've been on Dexcom since I was pregnant with Barnaby around week 11 of my pregnancy, so um, it'll be about a year now. One of the amazing things about Dexcom is that it will give you alerts if you're going low and high. And so as soon as I was using Dexcom for my pregnancy with Barnaby, it gives you an alert as soon as you're going over a certain threshold. And um, you can then predict whether you're going to go high or whether you're going to go low. And you can take the necessary precautions to deal with that. So the first um, hba one c I had for the first pregnancy was 7.4%. Then at the start of his pregnancy, it had gone down to 6.5%. And then by the time I was using Dexcom, um, and with the help of Dexcom, I'd lowered it down to 5.4%, and then maintained an HbA1c of 52 throughout the pregnancy. Dexcom made a huge difference to my control and to how I, I felt and my mental health really in balancing my glucose levels throughout pregnancy, especially at, at night when if you previously without Dexcom, um, go to sleep at around 11 and you wake up in the morning if your glucose levels are going high all night, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, yeah, I was very lucky in the end that I went into labour naturally, actually didn't even have to be induced and had a yeah, complication-free pregnancy and um, birth, which is amazing. Dexcom took a huge amount of stress away from me. I mean, pregnancy is stressful enough for a, for a regular pregnancy, let alone as a pregnancy with type 1 diabetes. I feel like Dexcom just gave me the freedom to, to enjoy it a little bit more and just um, have, I don't know, management that was, um, that was doable for me really in my lifestyle. Dexcom helps with your, uh, my diabetes control, that was obviously the main point, but for me also just your quality of life. I don't know how you can go through a pregnancy or just in general not not knowing when you do need to have that tight control, I just feel that the technology is um, it, it's sort of crucial, really. How can you go through just finger sticking all the time? Um, your blood sugars can change at the click of a finger, really, within literally 15 to 20 minutes. Dexcom also helps with is the fact that you can see the direction that you're going in as well and knowing how to deal with that effectively. So if I could give any advice to women who are already pregnant, who are living with type 1 diabetes, I'd say talk to your consultant because there's a number of options available to you, but Dexcom really for me was just crucial throughout my pregnancy. Um, the alarm system and the fact you can see which direction you're going in, it is absolutely life changing. And um, I never thought that I'd be able to have control like I did and the outcome that I did as well. <laughs>